Alright. Trying to get my headset. Sitting on my head better. So I'm assuming then picture of the sun, then probably Mercury and Venus then. Let me have something there. That I'm assuming is just a fantasy picture. There's like a fan of fact and fiction. I like it. I like you. No, no idea who you really are. Oh. Why not stick around in here? That's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Memories aren't born though, Catherine. Oh, that's cool. Get out, get out of my way, chair. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. I like that. Alright, let's see. June 6, 2103. Logan Reed testing the machine today. This crew was corrupted by WOU. More importantly, it was assembled and seemingly prone to lay like someone had specifically created it for WOU to steal. It activated the machine to make the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. June 14, 2103. After dissecting the Vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WAU copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. Where my capsule houses flat people constructed from metal neurographs, the Vivarium's brain scan lives on, it isn't limited by its content from the originating the brain scan Reed emerged. Reed inside the Vivarium was a perfect copy. It's a little off-putting. June 21st, 2103. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living memory of Pathos 2. can't figure out how it worked with the Vivarium, but I can replicate WAU's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They're already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. June 22nd, 2103. It was even easier than I thought. Pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WAU has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. Guess that explains the mockingbirds. WAU must have stolen scans of people using the pilot seat and use it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. July 3rd, 2103. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people. Uh, all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we'll launch it in space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. July 12, 2103. Mark's friend killed themselves after a scan. It's been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. Did check a lot of arguments over on the staff, but apparently it's my fault somehow. Stromeyer is not happy with me. Hope it'll calm down. Hmm. Interesting. Nice little light. You have a lot of toys. Huh. In a way, my toys are cool. Mm, scissors. I'll leave that drawer alone. Hmm. Oh, hi there. 
Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. No, why, why not have him in there? Why not put him right on the couch? Here you go, little buddy. Poor thing. No one around to to repair him. Restricted area. I'm not sure restrictions apply anywhere in this world. Well, that's dark. There we go. Interesting. Carthage, March 7th, 2102. Max Rang Intelligence, Analyst Theta, Pathos 2. So, sorry, the company is very pleased to hear your success in making the WAU a station wide presence. Rest, we appreciate what your unique opportunity this is, and you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer inside the WAU from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia, Dahl, and Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition. But please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WAU is an important and costly affair and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Setbacks. Supervisory board. Interesting. No text there for me to read. Fortunate. Dear friends, when you read this, I have entered the Ark. As I have explained, this is a contract ceasing to live as your scan has been completed. My friend Catherine, I'll do this in secret by folding a cyanide salt and chewing and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. In her announced question, I will down quickly, causing my own demise. That's a smart way to do it. Discover the truth behind me. I don't know there's no tragedy to mourn for him. Victorious, I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Okay. I do have to wonder, because, at least from what I'm gathering, he's a scientific sort of person. So I'm wondering what sort of, if any, scientific basis he has to support those claims. Of course, at this point, you know, it's. I think it's fair to say that. Does it really matter? So reasoning you have? He's in the world, after all. <laughs> and I mean, if it's in the world, it does it really matter what kind of reason there is? The scientific process is kind of a human sort of creation, so if there are no more humans, then what's the point in science? Although, is it really... Is science really a human creation, or is it simply a discovery? I'm confusing myself again. Oh, isn't this the first time we met outside? Up in Vass? Oh. Well then. She chose a much less uh, sophisticated way to kill herself, I suppose. Assuming as a possibly husband. I like that. I want this in real life. We're all dying anyway, I'm all in my faith in the string and the continuity. Okay. 
Oh, it's a hat. I couldn't tell. What's wrong with there? Oh, no light switch. Fair enough. And who's this? Martin Fisher. I'm sure I've come across you before. I know I need to touch the thing over there, but, uh, drawers. We must open them all. Okay. Let's see what horror this unleashes. looks bad, but it makes me feel a lot better. Helps me focus. That's... I, I mean, that's the wow you're hooking up to. I need it, okay? I wouldn't have made it this far without it. <sighs> Let's just keep going. That just sounds wrong. So I guess our next course of action is over here. We're not going up. We're not going down either, okay. And if I remember right, we just need to go back this way. Is there... Yes, this path. I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Hmm. I can understand the reason behind that. You know, I understand the first, the top part of the picture. I don't understand the bottom. Is that supposed to indicate like you're seeing what it's doing? I guess so. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool. What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please. I'm so close. Stormwire's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. Yeah, I would not be okay either in her situation. But she's really just trying to help and it's all just kind of collapsing on her. So unfortunate. What's that little square thing? Mm, strange. Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Anomaly composition, compressed negative human neurograph. Hmm, so this is a scan of the person who came up with this idea, it looks like. Holberg. Huh. Okay. David Munchie? How did this... What is this? 
And there's ours. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. See about an audio recordings there, but I'm curious if that's if there's anything else. You know, it looks like it's only Simon's entry that has the audio recordings. Well, let's see what they have to say. This scan. Okay, that's it. Wow, that was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so it's freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Interesting. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage, you guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Oh. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed, I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Fascinating. Hmm. Very fascinating. Guess we're going over here now. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Cozy. Wasn't it the first? It's going this long. Hmm. You know it's strange. I mean, they had to have known by killing themselves they were you know, threatening the project. And yet they did it anyway. Whoever said suicide made sense, I suppose. This is where I would store the ARC scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense, less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. I 
don't know if I should be pushing this button if I don't want to push the buttons. Well, that one's different. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Just know she's talking through this thing. That's neat. Probably walking through that too, if I had to guess. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. I don't actually know what I'd be looking for here for this. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Theta. Let's try you. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Take it easy, Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened to I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Don't worry, Mr. Wan. It'll all get better. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! <laughs> Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was gonna work. Maybe we can try again. Hmm. Was there another computer over here? Interesting. Hmm. Let's see if there's a landing and see what happens. That wasn't so bad. This room might really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened to I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that, that's a lie. You're lying. Okay, calm down, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! <laughs> yeah, that's not working. This setup won't work. We need something else. Okay. We walked over here. Yeah, we already walked over here. Oh, hi there. I found a thing. Interesting.
I wonder. Oh. Yeah, it'd probably go if I grab the thing. Probably. security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. Please calm down. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! That didn't go so well either. Do we need to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So? What's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. So there's like a sensory limiter thingy over here. Oh. That's unfortunate. Try the beach. That wasn't so bad. This room I really got worked up. Bastard. What? How did I get here? Mr. Wan, I need your help. Dr. Chen, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Listen, I really need your help. I need the new security cipher. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Hmm. I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. No. More data. Pretty sure I did see his name over here in the rooms. Although, pretty sure it was locked. Here we go, Brandon Wan's oh. room. I'll just override the lock for you. That would be nice, thank you. If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Maybe we can help. Ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and Alvaro to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry. We're right behind you. <laughs> Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Brandon, I'm really messed thinking about the skin. Everyone's being so brave, all smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the skin. 
The author still stands gratefully accepted. We do together, we can suffer the hangar together as well. Say so it takes a couple days to recover. Alice. There's a note from Alice that makes me think she was scanned alongside Brandon. Okay, that sounds really promising. We can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. Let's see. August 14, 2103. Nickers finally agreed to evacuate Delta. We were Cryer and I moved into Theta today. Nickers said he'd stick around for a while longer. Take pride in my work, but that place is miserable, miserable since the service stopped sending parts. August 25th. More evidence suggesting they were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock. We got it already. We should focus on simulating Brandon Wan. August 25th, 2103. Two marks came together with Alice. Stromeyer told me that the hangover would basically kill me. I was fine at first, but got splitting headed a couple hours later. The biggest thing was that Chun is so uncomfortable at all times it makes his skin crawl. October 7th, 2103. Stromeyer went ballistic and shut down all future skins for the art project. Only Conrad went in on the continuity and fried himself around the pilot seat after the scan. So he tells me we'll be getting new security ciphers. January 15th, 2104. Just heard that the Komarabi survey team is going to Delta and pick up Baker's. Been watching for months and what he's been up to. Hmm. Alright, well. Yeah, over here, right? module that we can use. So she'll be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. That's just a weird. Short scan room. That wasn't so bad. This room I really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I have a About Strohmeyer. He said he needed a new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's alright. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Oh. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Long. Right. Goodbye. What do you mean? No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. Uh, erasing it is kind of like killing a person, but at the same time, uh, I guess my personal belief is killing isn't necessarily always evil. Rest in peace, Brandon. We did the same with the other scans. Now that I think about it. Simon is dead, and I'm a replica of that scan Munchie did, thinking he's Simon. 
What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dumbat now. Get back here. I don't know this say done better reminds me of Dunpen from Xenoblade Chronicles. That's a good game. Let's play that again sometime. Here poke around to you? Yeah, poke around. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to do? Head inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Check we're already in the Abyss, but I... What do I know? Bathroom. Eee. I don't know where I need to be. I'm missing a step. That's the stuff I'm missing. Now we should be able to do this. There we go. I done bad. We just uh, mess with some knobs and see what happens. Yes, I'm not a huge fan of these. Uh, Well, that didn't go so well. We're done, but that's unfortunate. Seems like a possibility. Okay. I guess time we go. Oh, that took a while to load. 
shouldn't take that long to load unless I installed this on the wrong drive. Which is certainly within their own possibility. Of course. This is a big room. Nope. Only a word you touch that, things happen. They're out there. Good things, I'm not sure. Zero light switch. I'd really appreciate a light switch. Maybe just because I want to feel some level of comfort in this place. Hey, right. that works. Huh? Wait, this isn't. Oh no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did. Am I right? Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. Oh, that's... Get us on? How difficult could it be? That's one way to get lights on. Thank you, Catherine. Rip arc signal transmitter. Airfax tools, extra oxygen, emissions. So I'm assuming that's their plan. Harbor usage, safety of you and your colleagues. Put on the knee of your under student body harness. Fix the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with legs, fix the parts under your harness or work yourself upwards. I'll call the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and the torso. Tap the secure button on your own piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. So you will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. The suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. Still won't work. Do not try to fix it yourself. Contact maintenance. HPSs are very heavy and the seal will compensate. It will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Fair enough. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. Fair point. I guess I can check out the computer. What's this? 
this? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you get inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the arc. Well, I'll give it a try. Well, fair enough. Who's in here? Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard Cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. That is just At least weird. Get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. This whole thing is just so... interesting. I like it. Documents. Side finals, the arc with the scans we have. Sorry for all of you wanting to go, but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. Been two months since I had a scan, I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back this award. You all showed me when you started the project. Never meant for anyone to take the lives, it was never my intention to fool anyone. Just wanted to save something. Interface model, see water capsule, ask for permission. Brief. These people, take shot on the ground, pick up suits, red climber. Tile, head to one side with the bullet launch arc. Quite the to do list. Assuming that's not particularly useful right now. Thanks for the sign that the arc project was going to be this year's last official commitment. So it has been urged to carry on with the duties of fighters to catastrophic condition. Our project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. Yeah, I can agree with that. To mark every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. Scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. Temporary physical discomfort about it has three years a small price to save mankind. I can agree with that too. I was built to fit a Ranger MK, MK7 probe. I mean, it could be shot into space with the Mega Space Gun, taking no fire for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the art should leave the Earth behind if you want into space. Yeah. Digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. We once said the arc will have necessity to be generated from existing genetic code. It would be altered to allow for cosmic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. We could risk losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Now that's more difficult. That's something a little more difficult. You know, I actually think I would disagree with that. I don't think disease and mortality make make a human what they are. Even in a more abstract way, I suppose. Only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. Made to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences. 
that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As they continue to explore nature of intelligence, they may find a way to be spawn in the future. Thinking you're in fear, you group of which people would benefit our society. Hmm. That's also a difficult one. Hmm. I can most agree with it. So most strongly agree with the, the arc. Most of you are shooting into space. Most people, though, do not agree with the inferior intelligences. If we gain most only sort of agree, I suppose. Artificial evolution. <laughs> most would agree. Interesting. That's a really nice touch, I have to say. These little surveys they have, those are neat. And I wish I had that much storage. 896 terabytes. Where's the use of my foot foot? Hmm. Interesting. Do you need a boat? No chairs. Do you need chairs? I don't think we need chairs. That is. I guess we need that. Interesting. I have no idea what I'm doing. dummy scan shouldn't be that difficult i just want to make sure i understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc 
Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Nice. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. How could I forget you, Catherine? I guess we're going in here now. Oh. Are we being sanitized? I'm not sure that would really do anything, all things considered. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Excuse me, person, that should probably be dead, but just... Let's see, Acres, 16, 2104, age 66, male. Worst case, I've seen it, and it's most likely his own fault. Blind stuff and clogged up his insides with suction gel. I just tried to ever woke up from the coma. Did make me think of Hart's absurd story about what happened at Lambda. Could it really be that the, the WAU is somehow able to change and rebuild the... Well, that's an abrupt sort of thing. Let's see. Vanessa Hart, 28 female. December 20th, 2103. Hart appears to be in good shape considering the circumstances. Only bruises in my world. Hypothermia caused by the long walk. Difficult to corroborate her story as she is the only one to return. Earth and Shun, 37, female. Number 1st, 2103. Usually, is quiet and does rest to avoid eye contact. She doesn't want to be here, but Stromeyer demands another evaluation. Shun is an obstinate or dishonest, but she'd rather not speak if it can be avoided. She has a hard time dealing with people in general, including doctors. Earth and Shun is weak in character. We have a victim to dominate and push her into others. She's a scared mouse, I don't want to upset, so we sit quiet and pass the time. It's an interesting evaluation. Guy Conrad, 41 male, October 7, 2103. Conrad's dead. Blood his brains to pulp with a W rim. Maze are following the arc and nerve scan, including another continuity and through this coming salt to take his place on the arc. Okay. The bottom of the floor says you're dead, but your breathing says you're not. Confusing. Onward then. A lot of blood in this place. Which 
affected fractures. Timmy's broken and fracture have been something remotely controlled. I don't know how much I even have him as even within here. Okay. That's kind of nasty. Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reportedly found in his diving suit, unconscious, and in water. Akers has clearly been consuming large amounts of starch gel for weeks, probably. Difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of it, and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat over exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous. But the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think... I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this. That would be a good idea.